Don't mess with the monkey. Have you seen this crest before? Of course. This is a miracle. I have found the son of my master. Can you both tell me a little bit about your characters and uh, their dynamic together? Sure, I'm Beetle. Um, that guy. <laughs> Innocent, fun, legend hero and a lost samurai <clears throat> in his own mind who finds his, finds his way because he needs a quest. And a quest finds him, he finds it, and um, uh, he finds out some things along the way. And he, um, Monkey and Beetle have two different, uh, two different ideas about how to, how to go about things. I, we're gonna get there, but we can have fun getting there. Is, 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 is my POV, <laughs> she's a little bit tighter, her screws are a little more tight. I play Monkey and uh, she's, she's incredibly protective of Kubo and it's kind of revealed as a surprise in the third act why that is. And um, so the idea of bringing anybody else on this journey, especially an aloof amnesia, um, selective, uh, memory. selective memory beetle, uh, it, it's, it's not really how she wants to do it. So she's, she's, a, she's a bit unfiltered and she kind of says exactly what's on her mind and she's quite brutal at moments, but deep down inside she really is deeply caring for this, this little boy. And you guys have done just a little bit of voice acting before with uh, King of the Hill and a little robot chicken. Um, oh yeah, King of the Hill, uh -huh. that's right. 1999. <laughs> Bad rat what, <laughs> what motivated you both to take on this role? Because it's so different from what you usually do. For me, we needed to make something for the kids. I wanted to make something for the kids, didn't need to. <laughs> they didn't have to see anything I was in forever, but <laughs> wanted to. Um, that was the, that was a big reason for me, and I, and I was looking for a few years and and trying to be a part of some different animated films and characters, but nobody nobody bit, and so finally they came to me and I was in. Yeah, very much. I mean, not not solely that, but it was so nice to be excited about doing something that my my kids could see. Um, but the story is so beautiful. I I wonder if I didn't have kids in this camp. I mean, I I. I think I would have yeah, been would just, exis just as excited. Have, yes. Yeah, just as excited. I think the element that you know they get to see it too is just like the biggest cherry on top of the cake. And, and how did you prepare for these roles? Because usually you're physically preparing for them, and and that didn't require this movie didn't require that at all. I think for me it was just really kind of being open to experiencing something very very new, and and, and the the logistics of you know doing this is very different from making a film that you're in and you're kind of on set and you're physically doing it and you're in an environment and you're owning that space with your body. You don't really get to do that mm -hmm. with this. You have to kind of own it with your voice and then somebody else is gonna kind of go in there and fill those blanks in. And I was fascinated by that process. I, I was excited that after over 20 years of being in this business, I was a part of something that I really knew very, very little about and was constantly learning and that was really nice. Yeah, I mean, you. for me, I'll look at a script that's live action that I'm in, and you, the first thing is you take what's in the script, what's there. Um, you talk with the writer or the director, and you see where they're thinking, how grounded is it, what's the tone, um, and then and add some imagination. Sometimes you're doing biographies, and it's a lot of work to go back and try to emulate uh, somebody or something else, but this was massive, just, um, Imagination act. I mean, I tried to think like a, a kid, the kid in me, and tried to stay there. And I'm, I just, ne I never got serious about it on purpose. You know what I mean? I mean, it was well written. We talked to Travis, who had created it, and uh, we talked about the style and tone. About we're literally caricatures, but yet let's play with real heart, and uh, and and like real, real beings. You know what I mean? So, uh, not to be so outlandish with it, but to. Uh, and also getting in the recording was, was playtime. I just, it was fun to say press record and let me go. Mm -hmm.